Howdy guys, Jason here, and today I'm going to be giving my list of 10 series that I think people who are new to manga should read. This list is in no particular order and is subject to change in the future. So let's get on with the countdown. First up is A Silent Voice by Yoshitoki Oima. This series has released five of its seven volumes, and it is a masterpiece that deals with the difficult topic of bullying. It does a very good job of illustrating the devastation bullying can have on someone's life, especially if that person has a disability, such as being deaf. However, it also shows that redemption is possible to those who truly repent for what they've done in the past, and work extremely hard to build a brighter future for those around them. Although the subject matter can be a little intense, I think this is an important series for anyone to read. Next is a work by Osama Tezuka, Mu. It's a three-volume series that was collected into one omnibus by Vertical, and is my favorite Tezuka work that I've read. Admittedly, I've only read four of his series, but this one really stood out to me because it was a great seinen story. The premise is that a man named Michio Yuki kidnaps people for ransom, but then murders both the person he kidnapped as well as the person he extorted. After he commits a crime, he seeks asylum from Father Garai. Garai and Michio also have a complex history that involves a sexual element. It is a dark story, but I think it was well written and would be great for people who love gritty stories. One of my favorite authors is Inio Asano, and I think that everyone should be introduced to him at some point. The work I would su suggest is Solonin, and it's the story of a young girl who just finished school but is having a hard time adjusting to the adult world. She finds herself wanting to quit her job and follow her dreams. This is a struggle that I feel many people deal with during their post-college life, and I myself experienced it. Since the topic is so well handled, I would highly recommend this to anyone who is new to manga. In the world of manga, one of the most recognized series is Dragon Ball Z. However, I feel that the original series, Dragon Ball, is the better place to start. Akira Toriyama did a fantastic job writing a fun action series that was marketed towards younger audiences, but he also made it easily enjoyable for any age reader. Given the importance of the Dragon Ball franchise, I think it is a good idea to read this series, but I recommend reading the first part before reading Dragon Ball Z. Another shonen series I would like to suggest is Full Metal Alchemist by Hiromu Arakawa. She does a fantastic job weaving this story, and it has become a staple for both manga readers and anime fans. The anime adaptation Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood helped to boost the popularity of the manga since the anime was more faithful to its source material. Although it can take a little while to get through this series, it is definitely worth the time because it is a wonderful story that has a brilliant balance of action, emotions, and comedy. If you're interested in horror movies or anything creepy and scary, then look no further than Gyo by Junji Ito. This work is fantastic for anyone who is a fan of spooky stories and would be a great gateway into the horror manga world. It also serves as a good introduction to the author and what his works usually consist of. The story of sea life that comes out of the water and takes over the land via a parasitic life form is highly unusual and certainly will give you some terrifying images. Just be sure to read this when you're all alone in a dark, creepy place for full effect. Next is another romance story about a young boy who meets a girl telling him that they've been betrothed to each other since they were children. Ayoriyashi is a good place to start exploring manga if you've never read any harem type manga before. It was my first experience with a manga like that, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, the fan service is a bit over the top, so if nudity is a problem, then steer clear of this title. But otherwise, this is a great manga with awesome characters, and is just really fun to read. The series Death Note has a huge fan base surrounding it due to the amazing manga and highly successful anime. At first, I wasn't sure if it would be worth the hype, but once I read this series for myself, I completely understand why it's so popular. Light Yagami is a highly intelligent young man who stumbles across a black notebook one day. He takes it home with him and begins to read the rules of how to use this quote-unquote death note. If you write a person's name in the book while picturing their face in your mind, then that person will have a heart attack in 60 seconds. This opens up a world of possibilities for Light, and he must determine whether he should get rid of the book, or does he continue down this path and play God? A fantastic thriller-style story, this should be in everyone's collection, and is a great gateway into the manga world. 
I've only read one Yuri-style manga so far, but Girlfriends is a fantastic series. Centering around Mari and Akko's friendship as it develops over time, we eventually see it turn into something potentially more than friends. Watching as each girl struggles with her emotions really grabbed me. The characters were so well written that I became deeply invested in them and felt a strong connection to their issues. While the topic of same-sex couples can be a bit difficult for our culture, I think this story does a fantastic job of handling it and makes me highly recommend this to anyone who is new to manga. The final suggestion I have is for one of, if not my favorite series of all time, One Piece. Admittedly, it is a huge commitment since it has released 77 volumes in English at the time of this video, but I think it is well worth it. The base premise of the story is that Monkey D. Luffy eats a devil fruit, which gives him the power of being a rubber man, and he also wants to become the king of the pirates. From such a simple concept, an incredible adventure has unfolded as we see all of the people he meets, the other crazy devil fruit powers that exist in this world, and we find out who Luffy wants to be on his crew. This series basically has no rules, and it is an absolute joy to explore the diversity that Ichiro Oda has created. It may take some time, but do yourself a favor and pick up this series. You won't be disappointed. If you have a list of your own of 10 series that you would suggest to new manga readers, leave it down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.